if we have three linked genes, then a test cross and a lot of progeny can give us the information we need to determine not only the distance between them, but also their relative order. Let's see how that works. First, let's take a triple heterozygote. Let's say big A, big B, big C over little a, little b, little c. And we'll cross it with a triple homozygote recessive, little a, little b, little c, over little a, little b, little c. Let's imagine that we see the following progeny. A, b, c, and I'll just go ahead and write out the, I'll go ahead and write out the gamete genotypes here. So little a, big b, big c, 33, big A, little b, big c, 59, big A, big b, little c, 4, little a, little b, big c, 2, little a, big b, little c, 44, big A, little b, little c, 40, and little a, little b, little c, 272, for a total of 740 progeny. Again, something that requires quite a lot of progeny. So, there are a few things that we can learn by just observing this data. First, Let's look at the most common gametes, which are big A, big B, big C, and little a, little b, little c. Remember that in closely linked genes, crossing over is rare. And so, the most common gametes are the non-recombinant parent types, right? So this one is a parent type, and this one is a parent type. By a similar logic, let's look at the least common gametes, which are these two right here. The least common gametes are the result of two rare events happening, which is to say that these two gametes are our double recombinants, right? If we had three linked genes along a chromatid, there was a crossing over that happened between the first two and a crossing over that happened between the second two, right? So these are our double recombinants. And what that means, that there was a crossing between the first two and a crossing between the second two, is that the, um, the gene in the middle is the one that got flipped. Right, and so that will tell, tell us the order, right? And so in this particular case, the gene that got flipped between these, between these two is gene C, right? So now we know that the order of these genes on our genetic map is A, C, and B. And actually, I find it useful at this point to go back and rewrite our genotypes here in the correct order. So let me go ahead and do that really quick. Oop. Make sure that I get this right. There we go. All right. And so finally, we can ask how far apart are A and C? Well, we can now see that if the parental types were big A, big C, big B, and the um, and the, I'm sorry, the parental types were big A, big C, big B, and little a, little c, little b. Well, then we can see that the types that resulted in, resulted from a crossing over between A and C 
are this one right here and this one right here. Right, these are the AC recombinants. And so, and also remember that these double recombinants also were the result of a recombination between A and C. Remember there's a recombination here and a recombination here. And so the frequency of recombination between A and C is just how many of these recombinants we saw, which is 33, how many of these we saw, which was 40, and how many we saw of the double recombinants, which are a total of 79. And so if our frequency, I mean, sorry, if our total number of progeny is 740, then the distance between A and C is 10.7 centimorgans. Similarly, how far apart are C and B? Well, if the parental types are big A, big C, big B, and little a, little c, little b, then the CB recombinants are this one right here and this one right here. I'm getting a little busy in here. Right. That one is a CB recombinant, and that one right there is a CB recombinant. And again, Remember that these double recombinants also were the result of, recombin of a recombination between C and B. And so the frequency of our CB recombinants are 59 plus 44 plus 4 plus 2 is 102. And so the genetic distance between C and B is 102 over 740, which gives us 14.7 centimorgans, right? And so now we have our complete genetic map between A, C, and B, right? A and C are 10.7 centimorgans apart, and C and B are 14.7 centimorgans apart.